lecture will be covered by NDTV. Uh, they will be here around 11.30. Uh, so do you want to wait till the time that they arrive or uh, we can start it right away? No, we can start it right now then we can lots of discussions maybe with the students. Right. And, right. Uh, yeah. Yes. So we can go ahead. You can go ahead, sir. I'm just giving you the privilege of uh, presenter. Can you see my screen? Uh, yes, sir. One second, just a little bit here. Okay, should we start? Uh, yes, sir, we can start. Uh, good morning to everyone. Hopefully everyone is uh, able to hear me well. Yes. Uh, please uh, respond Respond uh, to Shahida, sir, by raising your hand if you are able to listen to him. Please raise your hands you are able to listen to uh, Shahida sir. Yes. I think everyone is able to. Yeah. Hear yes, me. If, if there is any problem you, you will let me know. Right. Okay. I request to uh, girls uh, Kulgam. Kulgam, aap, uh, camera, aap ka students ki taraf rakhi hai. Camera should be towards students so that sir will be able to see the students. Aapne aap rotate kar, uh, kije usko camera. And this is the request to all school nodal officers. Uh, agar aapke screen, jab aapka school screen mein aara hai aur wahan pe sirf school nodal officer dikh raha hai to hum usko hata denge. So please ensure that uh, your camera is uh, focused towards student and not towards school nodal officer. Yes, thank you. Sir, you can begin now. One second, let me bring it up. Copy and pen. So good morning everyone. Hopefully everyone is able to hear me. Today I'll be talking about uh, nervous system um, and uh, giving a brief, uh, very kind of basic introduction to you guys. I, I'm sure like you all know that what I'm going to talk about. And I will tell you like uh, what we do in the labs here and how we study the nervous system function and it is, it is and then I will also talk about something career goals, mentorship and, and what are the different opportunities you guys might be having. So uh, you all know brain is a very complex, very important organ in our body and it controls almost every function what we do whether it's a biological, physiological, or any psychological aspect of our body. So this brain is composed of, it's not just like a chunk of tissue, it's composed of billions of cells which are constantly communicating with each other. And that communication is very important for the functioning of our body. So there are different parts of this brain which are very important for carrying out different functions. If we look at the cellular level, this brain is composed of different types of cells like neurons, astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, and, and uh, there are also microglia in the brain. All these cells uh, carry out the brain function uh, combination. They work with each other 
to carry out these functions. Now one of the important functions in brain is neural impulse transmission, like how one cell is communicating with the other cell. Here is an example, if you see here, this is a this is a neuron, when it gets stimulated, an action potential is generated in the dendritic terminals of this neuron that propagates through the cell body of this neuron and then through this uh, axonal fiber and finally reaches this, uh, the terminals of exon which are called axonal terminals and from there it has to be propagated to the next neuron. But there is a gap between the two neurons and how it can be propagated. So from here to here it's an electrical stimulus, like an electrical current. Uh, when it reaches this synapse, which is a connection between two neurons, then this electrical action potential changes into a chemical potential, which is called neurochemical transmission. So at these synapses, there are certain chemicals released into this space, which is called synaptic clip or synapse. These chemicals are called the neurotransmitters. So those neurotransmitters then bind to this second neuron, which is called a postsynaptic neuron. And it stimulates some of the receptors in this uh, postsynaptic neuron and then stimulates the postsynaptic neuron and the action potential continues. And this process lasts when it encounters another neuron, then the same thing happens there. And this is very, very critical for the brain function. And all these cells, whether it are these are astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, in my area, they help this neuron to, to carry out this uh, neuro impulse transmission one or the other way. In majority of the diseases, uh, whether it's a neurodegenerative disease or, or any psychological disorder, uh, there, is, there is mostly defect in this uh, neuro impulse transmission. So, uh, I lost my one second. Bear with me, please. So, uh, so if there is any, uh, either there is a, a excessive release of these neurotransmitters within the synaptic lift or there is little bit of release, both these conditions are pathological. And if there is too much release, it can cause death of those postsynaptic neurons, which happens in in in, in lots of neurodegenerative diseases, even in stroke by a process called excitotoxicity. And they altered this chemical transmission at the synaptic neuronal synapses is also leading to some psychotic disorders. So what tools we use to study the brain function in the laboratory? And we cannot use humans because humans are precious. We cannot kill a human. We cannot cause any damage to humans because you need to extract tissue to study brain function in laboratory. So what we do is we use uh, lots of uh, tools which mostly are animal models, mice, rats, guinea pigs, um, or um, hamsters and, and monkeys, rabbits, and we can extract cells from the brain of these animals and culture and dishes also and study in the culture conditions the brain function. The advantage of cell cultures or neuronal cultures, when you culture them in a dish, is that the conditions can be easily manipulated. You can 